Hi, this is Alondra of Frogs and Friends Not Food. I thought I'd do an update. Today is July 23, 2008. It's about 10 or 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, I'm still on my liquid diet, which is the five glucerin shakes a day with the protein powder, some V juice and broth, water, diet, diet jellos, that type of thing. It's not easy. It's very hard. Um, not only that, that combined with uh, stresses at a home doesn't make it any easier. Um, I'm trying the best I can. This is so hard. Um, I find myself getting very weak, getting very tired, to where I'm sleeping half of the day now. And at my weight now, um, the last Tuesday, which the last Tuesday uh, was a little more than a week ago, I was 490 pounds. Um, the next day, well, two days after that, which was the 16th, I went in. Um, to see Dr. Nagel, and I got weighed. I was 483, I believe. 43, I believe. Um, so now my weight, I don't know. I'm trying the best I can. This is so hard. Um, my surgery schedules for August 11th. I'm hoping this will get easier. And I live with my mother, my younger brother, age 21, and his fiance, she's 20 and about 18 weeks pregnant, which I also do videos about her pregnancy too. Anyway, anyway they're being very supportive. They're helping me as much as they can. But this is something I pretty much have to do on my own. But one thing as I talk to them, they can stop doing. And I'll show you a perfect example. I did not set this here. I found this here. This does not help. Stuff like this, leaving this around the house does not help. I don't love chocolate. <laughs> but I'm staying away from all food. Um, I think for me the hardest part about the liquid diet is that I'm never full. May I don't know. I'm having a hard time to tell what is full. You know, I'm not used to only liquids. But I think the mo the hardest thing I'm craving now, I don't know why, is toast. I've been craving toast like crazy the past three days. So I'll be sitting there deep in thought, and my family's like, what are you thinking about? I'm like, toast. I'm thinking about toast. But that's been my thoughts lately. All you guys have been so kind and so thoughtful. You guys don't know how much your comments mean getting me through this. I am praying a, a lot that Dr. Nagel is able to do the gastric bypass or just be able to, to do the gastric bypass or the sleeve. Um, I'm kind of worried that I'm going to wake up. I'm going to wake up again and my mom or somebody's going to tell me I'm sorry. They couldn't do anything. That is the most horrible feeling I can, I can just even fathom the first time it happened, and, but I'm, plan A is the gastric bypass, plan B is the sleeve, if we do the sleeve, I gotta go back in a year later, I'm really worried about my liver though, this fasting, I hope it's working to shrink it, but hopefully everything goes well, I think after the first time, I'm owed a good, a good operation, that's what I'm planning for. Thank you very much for commenting and subscribing. If there's any questions, you guys just feel free to ask me and I will get back to you. Thank you. Bye.